In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus Na2CO3. This is barium nitrate and this is sodium carbonate. The first thing we need to do when we do net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It looks like I just need to put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate to balance the equation. Once that's done, we need to write the states for each substance. So when we look at barium nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. That's going to be aqueous or dissolved in water. Compounds with sodium, they're also very soluble. We'll write aqueous there. Carbonates, though, they aren't very soluble, usually only with group 1 metals and with ammonium ion. So this isn't going to be aqueous. It's not going to dissolve. It's going to be insoluble. So we're going to put an S after that. That means when these things react, this will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube and sit there as a solid. And then sodium compounds and nitrate compounds, very soluble as well. So we're going to put an AQ, aqueous dissolved in water. Once we've done this, we're going to split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. And this is going to be the complete ionic equation. It's also called the total ionic equation sometimes. So barium, that's in group two on the periodic table. They have a two plus ionic charge. The nitrate ion, that has a 1 minus charge. That's a good one to remember. So we could say we have Ba 2 plus, and I won't write aqueous for everything until the end, and then we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Since we have this subscript here, we need to put a coefficient of 2 in front of the nitrate to show that we have two of them. So we have that. Sodium group 1 has a 1 plus charge, and then the carbonate ion, that's 2 minus, another good one to remember. So we have Na plus, and again, there's that 2 there, that subscript. So we have two of those plus just the one carbonate. That's the CO3, 2 minus. And those are the reactants. For the products here, we said we have a solid. So we're not going to split the solid apart. In fact, in the test tube, it's at the bottom. It's not split apart. It's not dissolved. So it's just a solid. And we write BaCO3 and that's the solid. We said we had a plus and a minus here, so we have two sodium ions and then the two nitrate ions. So this is the total ionic equation, or the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They appear on both sides of the ionic equation here. So let's do that. We can see that we have two nitrates here in the reactants and two in the products. It really hasn't changed. We're not interested in those spectator ions. We cross those out. Two sodium ions in the reactants, two in the products. Cross them out. But everything else, it's unique. So we end up with the net ionic equation. So that's that barium 2 plus ion. We have the carbonate ion, and then we have that solid barium carbonate. So let me clean this all up, add the states in for each of these substances here, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus Na2CO3, barium nitrate plus sodium carbonate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.